The roots of Christian publishing in Africa run deep. For instance, think about it, that the author of the first five books of the Bible, Moses, was raised on the shores of River Nile in Africa. Tertullian, Oregon, Augustine, their writings influenced the church the first five centuries and they still do up to date. In 2018, it was reported that Africa became home of more Christians than any other continent in the world. Incidentally, a section of Christian publishers and publishing professionals who are working in Africa gathered to reflect on the state of Christian publishing. They recognized that Christian publishing is not keeping pace with the growing population of believers on the continent. And the consultation lasted for three days under the banner of Africa Speaks. And out of that discussion, 20 things were agreed upon, 20 commitments that were then published and called the Africa Speaks Accord. One was like the reading culture. How do we grow a reading culture, especially among the young people on the continent? Secondly is how do we produce not only in terms of quantity, but quality of content coming from African authors and her leaders. And how do we then think about distribution? How do we move one book from one place of the continent to another? 20 different things and were identified and 20 commitments were made. Africa Speaks was born because the men and women that gathered at that consultation said it can't be business as usual. We need to come together we need to work together to see a flourishing Christian publishing on the continent of Africa, not only to serve her own people, but also to become the bastion of faith even to the rest of the world. We therefore welcome you to join us, join hands together, let's pray together, and join this movement of Christian publishing professionals on the continent of Africa, and with a heart and a concern for Africa, the African church, so that we can produce well-researched, excellent, relevant, and biblically sound content that will bring good news and a message of hope.